guys, today I'm going to review the new Black Moxie Cosmetics Trippy Shroom Palette that is launching this Friday on 29th of March. It's a super stunning color story, I will show you it soon. It's a mix of intense beautiful shimmers and some really nice dark mattes and yeah, it's a really fun release in my opinion and I will tell you all about it soon. The brand did send this palette to me in PR but that doesn't change my opinion. As you know, I'm always very honest in my reviews, so let's go. First I'm going to talk about the packaging. It's filled with beautiful mushrooms which I really love. I find it really inspiring and beautiful to look at. When you look at the inside of the palette, you can see that it doesn't have any shade names and that doesn't personally bother me, but I know that some people want that and yeah, I can't say much about it because I couldn't care less about it to be honest. But I still wanted to point it out for those who actually cares about that. And on the inside it's a holographic uh, packaging which is really stunning, I really love it and it makes the eyeshadows look even more beautiful. Color story wise I can totally understand how this is an intimidating color story for some people. When I first looked at it I was like <gasps> wow it's really intense and I wasn't sure what to do with it when I just saw it in the pictures. But when I got it in person I got a more understanding of the color story. So it's something you really need to see in person, I feel like, to understand the possibilities. Because let me tell you, this palette has endless possibilities and I will go through why very soon. So what I really like about this color store is that it's a mix of muted colorful mattes and also some more brighter shades, which as I said could be intimidating for some. But I have to say that when I started to use this palette I realized that I totally understand why the the palette is curated like it is. It feels very well talked out and suits the team very well. So when I did my first looks of the palettes I went row by row just to make sure that I used all the colors and get the understanding of how the colors work together and I am happy to report that that works excellent. After that I did just pick and match the colors that I wanted to use on its own and that's what resulted in this look that I'm wearing today. I was going for something more neutral and as you can see it went quite uh, dramatic even though that it wasn't my intention in the first place. With that being said, that even if this color store is very bright, it's very bold and beautiful, you can still get some neutral looks out of it even though that uh, I didn't manage to do that today because um, I'm just who I am I guess. And even though that I'm such a fan of bright and bold colors, I like to balance out my looks with some neutrals sometimes because I just like to play with contrasts and that's why I adore this palette so much. It has everything that I like. It has the muted colors, it has the brights, it has the intense shimmers, it has its deepening shades and also has some neutral shades. The shimmers consists of two iridescent shades and three more opaque shimmers but you can also use them as toppers which is actually the reason why I find this palette so versatile because you can layer the shimmers on top of all the mattes and get new shades and then suddenly you have so many different options and I will roll the clips so you can see how the different shades looks on top of the mattes.
One of my favorite combos that I came across when I used the palette was to use the cobalt blue matte and topped it with a very bright, intense uh, iridescent shimmer that shifts from pink to yellow and maybe a little bit green. It looked spectacular and you will see that when I show you the looks that I have been creating with this palette. As always I tried to create a couple of different looks when I review the palettes. One more simple look, one more intense graphic look and yeah, I just tried out to see what the possibilities is with the palettes. And I'm happy to report that you can create both more simple looks but also more intense looks with these palettes. I usually swatch the palettes before I use them on my eyes but this time I didn't do that and I'm very happy that I didn't do that because I noticed that when I swatched the mattes they wasn't the most pigmented and that kind of shocked me because when I use them on the eyes they are very intense and vibrant and buildable and really nice but when I swatched them on my arms I felt like I maybe did need to layer them two times to get that opaque layer so uh, that's a big proof that you don't always can trust the swatches. The star of the show is the shimmers though they are so intense they are so sparkly they are so so beautiful. I need to address that two of the shimmers are quite similar to be honest but the owner has said that they will add some holo specs in one of the shades so it will be different from the other shade and I think that's a great solution to the problem and I can't wait to see the finished shade. Other than that it will basically look like my palette I think. I have had such a blast creating looks with this palette and I can't wait to use it more because it's a really nice palette. It's a little bit dark for being a spring release I feel like but still super nice. I really adore it and when you combine it with light shimmers it suddenly makes a big difference and yeah it's a good release in my opinion and if you are into this color story I don't think that you will be disappointed at all. I have used both single shadows and palettes from Black Moxie Cosmetics before and I noticed that the shimmers are quite similar to what I have seen from the brand before but I noticed that the matte shades in this palette has improved quite a lot because in the other palettes I have tried from them has the mattes been a little bit fragile and a lot of kick up. The performance has been good anyway but I still feel like this is a, such an upgrade when it comes to matte form because it's not much kick up at all and it's easier to layer the shades and yes I just love the result of it. Thank you so much for watching this video, I hope that you did enjoy this video and please let me know if you are planning to pick up this palette or why you are not interested in it. Please consider to subscribe if you are into indie makeup or colorful makeup or just want to see this crazy person <laughs> some more. And yeah, hope to see you soon. Bye bye! But in person, I immediately. Palette has endless possibilities. Endless possibilities. Endless possibility. One thing that I have to know. One thing that I really need to. One thing that I need to. As the perfor the po the po the perf great of and I think that it and I think that's a great and I think that's it.